It's a beautiful August afternoon in Southern California. We're in the San Bernardino Mountains on a 2010 Ducati Multistrada 1200 T, the touring model. We're doing a little off-road testing with it. See how it actually does when you get off the pavement. Not that we're doing a Baja or anything. Well, it's a good thing we're not doing a Baja because these tires would never make it. And they are definitely a street tire. And for handling a nice uphill elevation climbing fire road such as this to get to our campsite, I mean, the Multistrad is I mean, really doing good. I mean, you can tackle this road a lot quicker than you would on any type of sport bike, but yet on the street, you know, the Multistrada acts like a sport bike. So, I mean, you're really getting the best of a couple of worlds with this thing. And it really depends on if you're more of a street bike person or more of an off-road person. If you're more of an off-road person, you'd probably be eyeballing a BMW GS. That's something that's a little bit more, you know, off-road ready with some serious Dakar history behind it. But if you're a street bike guy who just occasionally wants to go camping or just spies a car off-road place to be and wants to divert from the uh, chosen route of pavement, the Molly Strat is, I think, a really good choice. I mean, this test bike has 5,000 miles on it. And I don't know if another auto hack abused the rear brake, but it is just non-existent right now. So I'm kind of left with front brakes only, and with these tires, I would hate to wash out the front end, like I almost did just there. <laughs> All right, that's my first save of the day. I can feel the anti-lock brakes working, which gives me more confidence in using just the front end brakes, being that there's no rear brakes. Squirrel, one thing that's definitely nice about this is when you're standing up, there's a nice thin wasp waistline, but when you're standing, the tank widens up and really gives you need something to kind of brace against. With the power mode set in enduro, it is a very nice controllable torque curve. I like it. It's not spinning up too much. I mean definitely the sport mode. Way too snappy of power. I think this is a much better all-around bike than the original Multistrad. Of course that came out years ago. So this thing has a few years of technology behind it to be a better motorcycle. And this really could be the one and only bike in your garage if you wanted a go everywhere, do anything kind of bike that's comfortable, touring worthy, can really get down through the corners on a paved road. Oh, that was awesome.